Coach, let's get right to Muncie Central. Big win for them last week over Anderson. In fact, they've won two out of three. And I asked you off the air about uh, Andre Wells. He seems to be the real deal. Your thoughts early about the Bearcats? Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're an awfully good ball club. Uh, they're as, probably as good a ball club as we've seen come out of Muncie for a while. Uh, year two of the consolidation, I think th- the kids are starting to, to meld together a little bit. And, uh, you know, they're, they're playing pretty well. We're going to have to play um, – uh, some of our best football at this point in the season, I think, to get by them. Is Wells, is he the real deal then? Yeah, I think def- most definitely. Big, strong, physical runner. Uh, listed at 6'2", 205. Uh, runs hard. Uh, is hard to bring down. Decent speed. Uh, blocks well. They have some smaller kids that run jet sweep and that kind of stuff, and he leads block for them. Uh, offensive line's pretty good as well. So, yeah, no, they're, um, you know, I, they're, I think they're the real deal, and, and we're going to have to – you know, like I said, we're going to have to match the physicality and we're going to have to uh, make sure that we tackle pretty well. And they do throw the ball a little bit too, don't they? Yeah, they're capable of throwing the ball. I think, the, you know, uh, in, early in the season you kind of see them. I think they're, they were trying to figure out what kind of team they wanted to be. but uh, And they're capable of throwing, but I think they're bread and butters on the ground. So their identity, run the football, use their speed to the outside. You guys have probably as good a speed as anybody so far. How do you contain him then? What do you try to do as far as just slowing him down? Well, you know, I, I think the, the the biggest thing is to try to, uh, anytime you face a running back with that kind of success, is try to try to get to him before he gets going. Okay. You know, if you can get to him at the uh, at the line of scrimmage or just beyond the line of scrimmage before they have a chance to uh, to get up to full speed in the open field, I you know I think that's something that we're going to have to do. You know, obviously. Um, uh, his size is a little bit of concern. You know, we got good speed on the defensive side. Uh, but we were laughing and joking. I don't think we have a linebacker that's 205 pounds. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's going to, you know, we're going to have to try to get to him early and, uh, and you know, just do the best that we can, gang tackle and, uh, and fly to the football. So is he the kind of runner that wants to run to the outside? Can he run between the tackles or does he do both? Uh, he's capable of doing both. Okay. I mean, he's, you know, when you're a big, strong, physical kid like that, he'll run, he'll run you over in the middle. Um, but he, he does have enough speed that he can get to that edge and, and be, be dangerous. Coach, you picked up a, a nice win last week after all that you waded through, and you look back at that Indianapolis Tech team, and, you know, they can be pretty dangerous if the right combination is put together, and they're so dang young. You know, you look at all the sophomores they play and everything. Your thoughts about that win after the delay? Well, you know, I, I thought it was a good win. I thought, uh, you know, as, as we spoke last week, they're – uh, you, you didn't know how to take that game coming in. You know, they 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 lost with some pretty lopsided scores early on. Uh, but, again, you know, we talked about it was Ben Davis mm-hmm. uh, and, and, and Kokomo. And, again, having not seen Kokomo run that type of offense. And they're pretty doggone good this year anyway. But, yeah. um, you know, it's hard to stop. Uh, but they're they're a pretty good ball club. They they came they came in and and they're they're uh, they have great uh, uh, talented kids. Uh, you know I think that you know we talked a little bit about they're a little young on the offensive line and I think that uh, we were able to exploit that a little bit uh, on them. But they're a good ball club. They're go- they're going to win some games in, in in the NCC this season. You know their quarterback. They used two of them, of course, but their starting quarterback that night really had a heck of an arm, and there were times where he was going against the flow and throwing against his body and was still chucking at 50 yards. Yeah, I mean, that's their – their uh, uh, you know, they're a dangerous bunch. They're, they can get loose on any given play, and, uh, uh, and you know, that a kid like that is, is always a concern. If you saw, you know, our earlier games, new pal, you know, fourth and long, and the kid drops the ball and he's scrambling and running around and – and we we're just shy of getting to him, and he chucks a touchdown pass, and uh, and uh, you know that. So whenever you get a quarterback that can do that, it's mobile, can run, uh, and can elude the pass rush, and and buy some time in the uh, you know in the pocket there uh, is 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 hard to contain. You guys were able to throw the football around a little bit too. Got a couple of touchdown passes, and Makai was a part of that as well. Just talk about the offense and and just being able to come along a little bit more last week yeah I thought you know I we're we're starting to put things together I, you know as, as week by week as we go uh you know we kind of look at okay what are our deficiencies what are some areas that we're lacking and um and you know we're we're like any school we we add things as the season goes on mm-hmm. and and some of it dic- some of it is dictated by okay what's the next step in the process some of it's dictated by who your opponent is and, and what weaknesses you think they have. And, 
Um, and, you know, and I think some of our, our biggest plays that we had against them were plays that we we just put in last week okay. against them, um, you know, on the ground and throwing the ball. So, you know, I think things are coming around. We're starting to, you know, uh, starting to piece things together a little bit. Um, you know, heading into this game, we're, we're starting to self-scout and see what our tendencies are and, and try to, uh, you know, fix some of those things. But I think we're we're starting to come into our own offensively. Uh, biggest concern is, is the turnovers. You know, uh, um, it, that's absolutely killed us this season. Uh, we can't continue to put our defense in, in the spots that they're put in. Um, you know, with the short field and, you know, the, we, uh, the offense was responsible for one of the touchdowns, fumbled on the goal line and went in the end zone. So, um, although we're coming, you know, I think things are starting to come together and get pieced together. Uh, we have to protect the ball a little bit better, and, and uh, uh, you know, I think that'll that'll help us down the road. You know, I like Parker inside, and, and then you can use Claiborne on the outside. We're going to see more of that because Claiborne had another pretty good ball game. Yeah, uh, Juwan's very explosive, and and, and we've th- those two complement each other very well. You know, Park is kind of gets the tough yards, and he's he's kind of the inside guy, and and he's he's elusive, and he's got good speed. Um, but he seems to do most of his damage, you know, between the tackles or right out the edge. Jawan, who is capable of running inside, um, has those long strides and he runs just a little bit differently. And uh, once he gets to the corner, he's he's awfully tough to get to. I mean, I, I we've seen the the last couple weeks some some pretty good athletes uh, think they have a pretty good pursuit angle on them, and all of a sudden it's it's gone. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're blessed in that regard. And, and, and obviously I think, you know, we're, we're going to have to continue to be able to run both kids. And uh, they they, uh, they suit their purpose and they kind of feed off each other. And I think it's it's tough to defend uh, those two different style of runners. You bet. Coach, we talked so much earlier about Muncie Central's offense, but what do you see on their defense, as you said a little bit ago, things you might be, be able to exploit against them? Well, you know, Defensively, they're they're uh, a lot like us. I mean, they they're a four four. They they run a four two five, depending upon the formation. Uh, even some of the blitzes are are similar to, to what we do uh, at times. So, uh, I mean, they're they're a good they're a good solid defense. They're fundamentally sound. Uh, they have their uh, their uh, one middle linebacker um, is is a big strong kid. Runs well us all over the field we we're obviously going to have to know where he's at um and their defensive line's pretty good so we're you know uh, uh, we're going to have to make sure that we control the line of scrimmage and uh, and if we're able to get up to the second level and block we're going to have to make sure we find the uh, their one Mike linebacker and, and, and put a body on him. Yeah, three sacks, two interceptions last week against Anderson. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Coach injury wise again, how do you guys look this week? Well, we're we're um you know we're about as good as we have been. Still, I, you know, knock on wood, we're uh, Grant Bowersock is still not going to be in the lineup, uh, and and as we've said, that's kind of a you know a week by week thing. Let's see how that goes. But sure. but for the most part, for everybody else, we're um, you know we're we're about as clean as we're going to be at this point. All right, coach. Good luck. Great. Thank you.